Let's take a look at the final version of the upload form that we're going to be building after users selected their image. Up at the top in our app bar, we're going to have a custom header that consists of a back button, a title of caption post, and a post button that users will press to actually create their post. We have a linear progress when we're in the process of uploading our image. Then we'll have a preview of the image file that we're storing in state. Then underneath that, we'll have an input to provide a caption of our image. And on the left hand side, we'll have the current user's photo URL, then an input for the location of the image with an icon at the beginning, and this use location button which users can press if they want to get their current location and display that in the location input. However, the first thing to note is that in order to get the current user's photo URL, we're going to need to pass down the current user to our upload class. And we're going to not just be using the user data, the current user data for their photo URL, but for a number of other purposes too. So we're going to head back to home, our home page, and we're going to pass down we head down to our auth screen. We take a look at our page view and the children. We want to pass down to our upload page the current user, and we want to create on the upload state class a current user, a named current user argument. So in order to do that, we'll head back to upload and for the stateful widget, we'll say final user with the name of current user, and we'll pass to the upload constructor within curly braces to add a named argument, this dot current user. And then to access our current user, and by the way, we need to import our user model into upload. In order to use current user, it's going to come from the value widget dot current user like so. So all of what we're going to be building is going to be returned by our build upload form function. And instead of returning a text widget, we're going to return a scaffold. So we'll give it a return type of scaffold for our app bar. We're going to have a custom app bar where it's going to have a background color of colors dot white 70 so we'll have white with an opacity of 70 the leading is going to be an icon button which is going to be our back button where the icon will be icon icons dot arrow back with the color of black and for its on pressed we just want to clear the image so we'll create a function with the same name above build upload form where it's just going to set state and set file to null. And by setting file to null, by clearing that value, we're going to return to our splash screen in order to go back. Then for our title, we'll use a text widget, the text caption post. And for its style, set text style to have a color of colors dot black then we're going to add this actions list it's going to consist of a flat button and it's going to have a child of a text widget so this will be our post button to post a given media file then for its style we'll use text style to set the color to colors dot blue accent the font weight to font weight dot bold and the font size to 20 and right now we're just going to give it an on press of an inline arrow function where we'll print say pressed and let's just quickly preview what our app bar looks like at the moment so we have our back button title and post button so that's good now 
we're going to move on to our body that's going to consist of a list view with a list of children widgets we're going to have a container with a height of 220 for width we want to set the preview image to take up about 80 percent of the available width so a neat way to do that is to use media query dot of context and to get the current width we can say dot size dot width and to get 80 percent of it we can multiply that by 0.8 that's a nice trick for the containers child will use a center widget to center our image and for its child we want to use an aspect ratio widget so we're going to set the aspect ratio basically the dimensions of this image we'll set that to the ratio 16 by 9 width to height and for its child we'll use a container for decoration we'll use the box decoration class where image will be set to decoration image and the fit how this image is going to fit the available space is boxfit.cover and the image itself to display our stored file we're going to do so with file image and pass in our file and state so after our container we're going to have a padding widget this is basically just to separate our container from our input so we'll use edge insets only on the top side and set that to 10.0 then after padding we'll have a list tile within our list view which will have a leading of our avatar so that will be set to a circle avatar and our background image is once again going to use the cached network image provider we'll make sure to import this widget and its value is going to come from widget.current user so we'll get this from the current users photo URL and then underneath leading we'll have a title which will have a container widget the width of 250 the child will be a text field so the text field next to our avatar and we'll give it a decoration of the input decoration class where it's hint text is going to be write a caption so this will be our caption input and we'll set border to input border dot none to remove it then underneath our list tile we'll have a divider to divide it from our next input so that will be within another list tile where leading will be an icon so we'll use the icon constructor and pass in icons.pin drop where the color will be colors.orange with the size of 35. And then for the title, that will once again be set to a container widget, this time with a width of 250. The child again of a text field we'll set decoration to input decoration and for this text fields hint text it'll be the text where was this photo taken so this will be our location input and again we'll set border to input border dot none and then after this list tile for the last item in our list view children we're gonna have a container which is gonna contain our use current location button, our geolocation button, where the width will be 200, height 100, align it in both directions with alignment center. The child will be raised button dot icon. So this is a good widget to use whenever you want to have a button with an icon in it. There's both flat button dot icon and raised button dot icon. And for its label, we'll use a text widget so basically the text inside the button say use current location and for its style the text style is going to have 
color set to colors dot white. Then for its shape, the shape of the button, this will be a rounded rectangle border with a border radius of border radius dot circular with a value of 30. And then after that, the color value set to colors dot blue. For on pressed, once again, we'll just add a inline arrow function to be replaced later. Set to get user location and then an icon where the icon is set to icons dot my location and the color is colors dot white. So let's save that and take a look. And it looks like we're getting an error for photo URL. So I might need to do a hot restart. And let's select upload image. We'll choose image from gallery. And now we see the current user data is passed down correctly. We see our photo URL being displayed next to our caption input. So that's good. And with all that code, now we have the final version of our upload form.